Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Go game using Android Kotlin. So, as we are in sixth section, part two, I had created the second section of a second part of section six because uh, in our last section, uh, the little bit part was remained. So, to cover that, I created part two. In this section, we will learn how to reach Pokemon as well as how to catch that Pokemon. So, uh, let's start. So, head back to Android Studio. In our last tutorial, we created this great game in which the user will be represented by using Mario symbols. And when we click on the user, it shows the name of the user with some descriptive message. Same we did with the different Pokemon, we place them to a different location onto the map. When we click on the Pokemon, it shows the name of the Pokemon with some descriptive message. But wait, we forgot to add the power of the Pokemon to the description. So let's do that. Here, in snippet method, we added the new Pokemon dot description method. Now, here we need to add the power of Pokemon. Plus, new Pokemon, which is object of our current Pokemon dot power. Now let's run the program and see if the power has been added to our Pokemon or not. So as you can see our app has been successfully launched and here's our Pokemon, here's our user sorry for that. Let's see Pokemon the power has been added to or not to our Pokemon. Click on the Pokemon, hey I am danger power is 55.0, here the power has been added to each and every Pokemon here you can see. Yes, power has been added. I think it's all the Pokemon having the same power. Okay, let's change it. Make it more efficient. Okay. Now what we have to do? When the user will reach to any of the Pokemon, uh, it will be able to catch that Pokemon. So to do so, we need to compare the location of the user with the location of the current Pokemon. So to do so, here you can see the our user has uh, location has been divided into two parts that is longitude and latitude. We need to store the location into a single variable, right? Uh, so to do so, we need to go to Pokemon and create uh, here. Uh, remove this latitude and longitude and create a single variable name as location which is type of location which is equal to null make it nullable now uh, make it this dot location because we have created the variable as location which is type of location Location and here location dot latitude equals to lat and add once again for longitude hello right here location dot longitude make it nullable Wait, why has something went wrong? None of the function can be done. Okay, uh, I think here we need to pass a string. Uh, we can pass the name of our Pokemon. Huh. So I think we are ready. What we had did, I'll explain you. Uh, first of all, we create a variable of our location, which will uh, be a type of location. And uh, here we had declared that it is type of location with the string of name of Pokemon. And then we have uh, used latitude and longitude and stored into a single variable which is location. Now go to maps of main activity. Now here new Pokemon dot location dot longitude, right? Yes. Remove this uh, nullable symbol and put it here. Do same with latitude okay. 
is less than 2 right now if current location of user is uh, less than 2 to the new to the pokemon location at that time it will perform some operation what is the nearest match for me okay i think it is asking for the level yes now what we have to do if uh, the user reaches to the Pokemon at that time uh, Pokemon is catch make it true because previously it was false when we were searching for a Pokemon now as we had catch that Pokemon we need to make it true now add that catch Pokemon which Pokemon has been catch add that to current Pokemon into list Now, uh, when the uh, what operation we need to perform when a uh, user catches the Pokemon? Uh, at that time, we will increase uh, the power of our user. We will take the all the power from the Pokemon and give it to user. So to do so, we need to uh, create one more variable. Let's name it as uh, player power, which will contain the power of our user. Uh, let's make it. 0.0 okay now as uh, the user has been reached to new pokemon all the power of the new pokemon will be fetched by the user so player power Plus, because I need to add the power to player power, so I am using plus sign equals to new Pokemon dot power. Make it nullable. Okay, now new Pokemon whatever has the power has been switched to player power. Now let's uh, display the toast message dot message. Here we need to pass application context in terms of context, comma. You successfully catch Pokemon You successfully catch Pokemon and Pokemon name Your power is Player power. Okay, now comma source dot length long. Let's make it long. Dot show message. Now, whenever um, the user will catch that Pokemon, at that time it will display this message. So I think our program is ready to run. Let's run the program and see if it is working fine or not. Wait, uh, something error is about. Okay, it's not an error. It's just an. Uh, uh, Telling us to ask for a permission, but we had uh, checked that permission, so we don't need to do something more. Now let's run the program and see if our program is app is running fine or not. So 
Subway, so Pokemon. So we have several Pokemon, uh, who Charmander. So uh, let's go towards that Pokemon. Uh, as you can see, the Pokemon, uh, user is moving towards that Pokemon because we had changed location. Uh, what if uh, the user reaches to that Pokemon? Let's see. Let's see. As you can see, the location is same as Charmander of my user. Click on same. Hey, you successfully catch Pokemon Charmander. Your power has been increased. As you can see, the our user has successfully catch the Pokemon and the toast message has been shown uh, so uh, i think we have successfully created our app uh, here instead of toast message you can do anything uh, is i want to show you that it's just a basic app which i have shown in which i have shown you how the maps uh, functioning is done in android kotlin but you can extend this app and uh, use it real time by adding some more functionalities for example i have displayed here toast message you can display some dialog box with some innovative images and make the app more attractive and more uh, whatever you say uh, more user effective uh, so that user will impress while playing the game so yes i think our game has been completed so i uh, hope this uh, you like this course and uh, uh, by using knowledge from this course you build more more apps or more innovative games and it will help you so thanks for watching